Hey, guess what, Angela? What, Jay? Carpool Book Club! Woo! Hey. Man, it's been a long time. It has been a long time. It's been a long time because... Um, a lot of things. Yeah, we've been busy at the Annapolis Valley Regional Library, haven't we? We've opened a new library. We had a conference. What yeah. else? We've got another um, library uh, coming on the way. Yes. Um, so, Kenfield Library just opened. We just came from there. It looks fabulous. If you haven't seen it, you should check it out. Um, or you should look online at some of the pictures. It photographs really well. Yeah, it looks does. It's really good in the pictures. And um, also Annapolis Royal, new library on the on way. way. It's, it's in the works. So that's really cool, and uh, we hosted the Nova Scotia Library Association conference this year. That was exciting. Uh, <laughs> okay, so uh, yeah, we just came from um, um, NSCC. Yeah, we just took a big, huge pile of brand new picture books. Right, and they're still fresh and shiny. Um, yeah. Straight from the publisher. Um, hey, let's talk about that one. Okay. Yeah. Dazzle Ships. So yeah, that's a new um, nonfiction book that has amazing illustrations, but what I love about it is that it's about something in history that I'd never heard of before, and it's fascinating, and it has a lot of information. In World War I, um, the, uh, the German uh, submarines were, the U -boats, sink yeah. were sinking a lot of the English ships that were coming in, supply ships and war, battleships or warships. And somebody got the idea of painting um, confusing patterns on the ships so that... So they wouldn't so it, know where the ships were going because yeah. they had to, the U-boats had to sort of figure out like, okay, that boat's going to go that way and so we're going to shoot our torpedo that way and it should hit it right about boom now. Right. But they couldn't do that when the boats were painted all crazy patterns and yeah, also yeah. women painted them like women came up with the designs and painted them which I thought was really cool and I um, shared it at a picture book thing the other night and um, a woman was there who's 93 years old and she absolutely loved that book she read every word and was just fascinated by it so yeah it's a an intergenerational book I'd say what do you got next on the pile well this is the next one this is called Still Stuck. <laughs> it's uh, the funniest book I've seen in a long time. I, so I, I don't know. Do we want to give a, it's, I guess pretty much the cover sums it up. Yeah. A it's, little boy tries to take off his own pajamas and he gets stuck. He wants to do it his own self. Yeah. And, and he refuses help yeah. until there's no other possible way. I don't think a key right out. to the end is refusing help and yeah. he gets rescued. So I think that there are a lot of people, kid or not, who can relate to that. Being so stubborn that they're, you're willing to go down with the ship. To, <laughs> he starts planning out the rest of his life being stuck inside his shirt. Show that picture, that funniest picture. It's like the funniest picture in a picture book this year. There it is. <laughs> Do you go through extremes to just deal with your own problem? Uh, and you know what I like about simple art like this because there's you know very simple right? but super intentional it wasn't yeah. like you know, like well the lines know, are simple but the art isn't yeah right um i like yo soy muslim um it's again got really really simple text but i think it's um the really heartfelt message of um a father telling his little daughter that you know to be to be proud of who she is and what she is and giving her a lot of um, encouragement in that and I like the art it's got it's that it's uh, that big eyed right kind of thing yeah. but I like it it works in this book it's nice what about this one you were I, asked me to read this and I, I love said, that one you didn't read no, that one no I didn't I just I wanted to and Sometimes you see a book like this and you open it up and you're about to just skim through it and then you realize, I want to spend that a bit it's more longer. time with yeah. that. You, yeah. I can't just flip through this. And right. And no, it's, it's not a flip through book. I, I what just, do you think of that color? That's a great color. Um, a, yeah. I think what I love about this one, I love the art, 
first off. That's what attracted me to it, just like flipping through it and looking at the art. But the story is um, this child who um, goes with their mom to like the country for the weekend and she's working and she says, you know, go outside. And the child takes the um, electronic toy outside and, you know, and then loses it. And then so the child has to actually interact with nature. And so it's one of those kind of, you know, it's a message book, but it's it's not an in-your-face message. It's kind of a sort of subtle message. Right. Um, and the other thing I really love about this one is that the child is never, um, we don't know if it's a boy or a girl, so it's sort of that, it's, um, it's one of those great books where it could be a boy or it could be a girl. It doesn't, it, you know, you really can't tell and it doesn't really matter. Right. And plus that one smells really good. Okay. Two. Do we have time to do these? Oh, Let's man. do Mighty Moby. Okay, okay. Yeah, Mighty Moby. So, all of the art is done with cutouts. And who's it by? Uh, who's the art by? Ed Young. Ed Young. Ed Young. And also Barbara DaCosta doing the text for this one. Right. But and see, the, the art was done first. Did you read that? I did not. No, yeah. No, no. So the words came after the art. We were talking about whether this would be a good story time book, and I think that it would be a great small group, like bedtime story book. Because right. there's so much going on. It's a lot of collage, and uh, it's really creative how it's put together. In fact, some of the pictures to me look like they're photographs that have been disassembled and reassembled from multiple takes of the same photo mm. to make it look like like the, like the, a collage, the kid at the more end. collage. Yeah. Oh, so, that's cool. I won't give away the story, but there is. A, it does have a little surprise. The, yes, it's not. It's not a complete retelling. They didn't totally rip off Herman Melville. <laughs> <laughs> so has so he good. seen the white whale? <laughs> they call me Ned. Okay, so two second book talk. What does a professional crocodile do for a living? Guess. Now insert. Insert your answer. Insert your answer below. Here. Right here. Insert your answer here. <laughs> this is a wordless book, and it follows a day in the life of this crocodile who's going to his job. He gets up. I love. I love how he gets up, brushes his teeth, goes to the bathroom. Yeah. He goes <laughs> I mean, to the bathroom. When do you see a crocodile sitting on the toilet? It's well, hilarious! You know what? In, in books, in literature, and film, how often do you see the minutia of the day-to-day? -day? You don't, but you do right. in this one. You do. They've, they've really captured um, the essence of what it's like I like how he gets on the subway crocodile. and... Yeah, it's got all that stuff. So his co-workers are on the subway with him. Did you see that? Did you notice that? That's And, and you know what? Natural, um, natural enemies, possibly. Yes. Um, that yeah. meet in the wild, they're off the clock, right? So they're not. Right. They're not. Right. They're not trying to eat yeah. that giraffe. No, of course not. Did you not. see that this giraffe? Look, did you see his scarf? <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. There's there's lots in this book yeah. to explore. You can it's look a, at it for a long time. It's a wordless book, and um, you're not going to tell him what he does for a living, are you? No. Don't let him no, see. No, no, no. You have to read this one yourself. Yeah, we won't wreck the ending for you. Pick up. Your own copy of Professional Crocodile. All right. So all of How these... many books do we have? Oh, we got all of those. We talked about them all. Six. Six books? Pretty good. All of these are available at your local public library. Place a hold today. That was a wrap for Carpool, Carpool Book Club! Book Club!